Rob, uh, Garen's talking about familiar foes. The, Bram the, the second playoff game, of course, the Storm is hosting the Brumbies. The Brumbies were in Cape Town not so long ago, um, and Storm is beating them by one point. Um, I'm sure there's a lot that they would have taken out of that and would like to do differently. Uh, yeah, how do you see that going? Obviously, the Storm is bringing, <coughs> beg your pardon, all their big guns back after that sort of B-string side last week. Brumbies, yeah. unchanged side. Yeah, um, as you say, that 25-24 that results uh, not too long ago. Um, something that I, I sort of thought about it, and you know, the, the Stormers won it, but if they've got any sense, perhaps they'll, they'll almost treat it as a defeat because they'll know that uh, Christian Leilufano had that uh, fatal uh, sort of ride out in front miss, uh, which could have made the difference on the day. So I, I'm pretty sure Alistair Kutsia will be reminding his charges that how, how desperately close they came to actually losing that game. Um, and that if anything, uh, it's the Stormers who will feel that they, that they'll know they need to go up uh, a further notch. Um, on that occasion if they're to, to get past them. We know that, that that last game was quite sort of niggly, sometimes uh, especially given that they're, they're playing each other you know, so, so uh, at such a short uh, span between the games that some of that sort of um, that niggle might still uh, be, uh, you know, still play a part. Uh, there might be a few scores to, to settle quietly. Um, I know that the, the Newlands faithful will be uh, hoping that Nick White takes a big tackle um, <laughs> at some stage, but uh, knowing Nick White, uh, he'll be pretty good at avoiding uh, big tackles and constantly getting in the referee's face uh, lots of chirping um, so uh, it's going to be uh, I think a very very tight battle the Brumbies have got a, a pretty good record historically at Newlands mm -hmm. they, they hold the aces um, I think since 98 um, it's something like 11-5 uh, in favor of um, or even is it 11-6 uh, in favor of Brumbies but a fairly clear cut mm -hmm. um, uh, advantage to them and, and their Newlands record is, is 50% I think it's um, there's, there's been a draw there and there have been four wins each <coughs> so that tells you that uh, they're not they're not averse to uh, to enjoying Cape Town um, by all accounts we, we know the Brumbies kind of enjoy the sights and sounds of the city they've sometimes gone into a little bit of trouble uh, in the past we remember the famous taxi incident all those years ago late at night after they won in Cape Town um, and uh, you know, so th they're not going to be uh, too unhappy about playing in the shadow of Table Mountain with the, on what looks like it might be a, quite a nice day weather-wise, which is great because I think it could make for a, a nice spectacle. As Garen said, though, um, I'm not certain it's going to be very pretty rugby. I think we're, we're down to that real uh, knockout, edgy stuff. Uh, could come down to the, the place kickers again. And if it does, and if the Stormers pack gets a little bit of a, a rumble on, um, then Dimitri Katrakrilis is going to be sort of, as long as they're in that, he's in that sort of 35 to 40 meter range, uh, should bang over the majority of goals that come his way. And that could just be a, a decisive factor on the day. I, I think the Stormers could edge it, but it's a desperately one, a tight one to call. Okay. Karen, as tight as the last time these two sides met, and I mean, how much of a difference is missing a player like Dwayne Vermeulen going to make? I, th I think it's huge. I'm a, I'm a little bit concerned about the Stormers' performance, you know, based on a number of, of issues. The fact that last time they played not so long ago, which is also important, the Brumbies probably should have won, even though the Stormers bossed the match in the early stages. The Brumbies were never really out of it, and they came back strong at the finish and, you know, almost snatched it at the death. You know, Dwayne Vermeulen out is a big, big blow for, for the Stormers. You've got um, Dimitri Karakilis only coming back now from a mm. couple of weeks after being concussed. Hopefully he's 100%. Um, you know, you got um, Lili Vifano, who talked about missing that kick. He's playing his hundredth game for the Brumbies, so mm -hmm. they, you know, have to get up for him. Um, Pocock has passed a concussion test as well, and he's been formidable, especially from the rolling, driving more for the Brumbies. Mm -hmm. They've actually, you know, scored some really good tries lately. They actually have the best defense. You know, we'll talk a lot about the Stormers' defense being their strong point. Yeah. The Brumbies have only conceded 21 tries this year, and the, the Stormers have conceded 35. So there's quite a big difference there as well. So you know. The Brumbies, and they've got the experience, and they've got a good record in South Africa, as Rob says. The Stormers have only won one out of six play or Super Rugby playoff matches ever, whereas the Brumbies have won this title twice. So, you know, they've got Stephen Larkham, who's been there, done that as their coach. Alice Kutsia potentially playing um, in charge of his last match. Mm. So a couple of farewells, potentially, if things go wrong for the Stormers. You know, obviously the crowd will be behind the Stormers. Um, it should be a fantastic day out. The weather's looking good, so that sort of you know helps the running rugby. But the Brumbies do have a fairly formidable backline. They've got some really star um, and speedy and big backs, um, which could pose problems. You know, it's, it should be a fantastic game. You know, one of these games that you sort of expect in playoff rugby because you've got the cream having risen to the top, that it could go either way. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the Brumbies win. You know, if it's a t complete 50-50 um, coin. Uh, coin Toss. I think um, you know you would go with the home side perhaps, but you know the Stormers team will have to certainly improve. Obviously, it's a totally different team to the team that went down to the Sharks last weekend. So you, you'd hope they'd be a lot, lot better. Um, so I'm going to go with you know the heart. 
and go for the Stormers win. But again, you know, one or two points might be all that separates the teams, you know, after 80 minutes.